The Adventures of the Falcon, starring Les Damon. Hello? Yes, this is the Falcon speaking. Oh, Linda. Now, thanks for the call, but I have to say Nick's tonight, Angel. As I'm involved with the prize fighter. They tell me he's murder in the ring, but it looks like there may be a murder out of it. This is Ed Hurley, he friends, inviting you to listen to The Adventures of the Falcon, transcribed tonight. You met the Falcon first in his best-selling novels, then you saw him in his thrilling motion picture series. Now, join him on the air when the Falcon solves... The Case of the Beautiful Bait. The case of the beautiful bait. It's Wednesday night in New York, and in a fight arena, Al Lassiter is eagerly watching one of the boys in the second round of the main event. Lassiter is the fat little man at ringside who keeps poking the pretty girl sitting next to him with his elbow to call her attention to what excites him. Vicky, that kid's terrific. Yeah. Look at that jab. Oh, look at it. I felt it. Wow, there's another. Hey, that one hurt. I'll say, broke three ribs. Huh? Look, Al, you don't have to keep giving me the elbow. I'm paying attention. What? Oh, I just want you to watch this boy. What do you think I'm watching? The scenery? He's dying of my... Come on, Joey, you got him going? Keep on top of him. Yo! Ah, oh, Joey will kill him. Well, he better do it quick or I'll kill you. This is it, Vicky. This is it. Of course, he's in trouble. Look at that Joey go. He's out for a KO. Oh, yeah. And it does it. Of course, he's down. Well, thanks for telling me, Lassiter. I wouldn't have known. Ah, uh, he's through. Well, I hope so. I can't take much more. That's it. Come on, let's go. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Next time I go to a fight with you, I'm going into training, too. I got to get that Joey O'Hara. Get him. His contract's up. If he's handled right, maybe he won't renew with Whitcomb. Well, how do you handle him right? I don't. That's your department. Well, don't you get bright ideas. You'll play him along before he knows it. His name's on my contract. Did anybody ask me? I'm telling you. Well, what if I don't play? I don't put it like that. Put it if you do play. You know that convertible you've been wanting? Uh-huh. Joey signs with me. It's yours. All of a sudden, Joey interests me. I got to sew him up, Vicky. The boy's gone places right to the top. You don't find light heavies like him every day. He's young. Who knows? He may put on a few pounds and challenge the big boys. Yes, sir. The kid's dynamite. Yeah, Lassiter. Dynamite. And you want me to light the fuse. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh? Uh, aren't you Joey O'Hara? Yeah, that's right. I, I recognized you from the other side of the hotel lobby. I, uh, I saw you fight the other night. Oh, yeah? Well, you don't look like a fight fan. No? How do fight fans look? Oh, I mean, you're, well, uh, a lady. Thanks. And you're obviously a gentleman. But... You, you're a fighter. Why shouldn't I be a fan? Oh, if, if you want to be, I think it's swell. It's just... Well, I don't know. Uh... You mean you're ashamed of being a boxer. Well, you shouldn't be. It takes courage, skill, clean living. <laughs> Do I sound silly? No. No, it sounds good when you say it. Well, I, I won't keep you now. You, you were going somewhere when I stopped you. Oh, just out to a movie. I... Hey, how about uh, you coming along? Well, I... I don't have anything planned. Good. Then it's settled. Let's go. Kenny Floyd, what are you doing in New York? I'm looking for you, sweetheart. Detroit's not the same without you. They're still making cars, I hear. Oh, but not making beautiful music. Look, run along, Ken, will you? I got a date. Well, you're going to cancel it. Now, look, chum, before this goes any further, my date happens to be with an artist with his fist. Oh, you got me real worried. Now, well, what do you say we go inside? It's more comfortable standing here in the hall. I know what's the matter, Vicky. You're a chick who plays the percentages. Now, I don't hold that against you. I think that's smart. Meaning what? Meaning you got an eye for the blue chips. I had a short stack, so you pulled out. And, honey, things are different now. My luck's changed. Here, take a look at this roll. Catch. 
So you got a roll. So what am I supposed to do? Wear a ring in my nose? They're all 50s, honey. Help yourself. There's plenty more where they came from. No sale. All right, sweetheart. And let's look at it like this. According to the columns, you're dating Joey O'Hara. That's what tipped me you were in the big town. Well, what do you know? He can read. So I moved in, and I've been asking around. And what do you think I found out? How many bars there are in New York? I found out that up until a couple of weeks ago, you were real chummy with Al Lasseter. Fancy that. So it figures. Lasseter has chips. You'd go for that. And he has a stable of fighters. He could be interested in this O'Hara. And you're just the bait he'd need. Now we're playing guessing games. Well, one way to find out if I'm guessing, I could drop a hint to O'Hara. No, Ken. Oh. Oh, all of a sudden, she's not the sharp chick, huh? That hit a nerve. Well, it, well it, it's just that Joey might get the wrong idea, and he likes me. See, he likes me a lot. I I wouldn't want to hurt him. Now, wait a minute, Vicky. Something's out of gear. You started running too fast. Now, don't tell me you're that worried about hurting some jerk who's... Oh, wait a minute. Now, wait a Why didn't I think of that? Certainly, you're soft on him. Maybe Lassett is the one I ought to talk to, huh? Look... What are you trying to do? Just what is it you want? I thought that was obvious, sweetheart. I want you. And you think this will get me? Blackmail? Well, why not? I have what Lassiter has. A bankroll. Of course, maybe I don't have shoulders like O'Hara, but... He used to think I wasn't so hard to take. You'll come around again. I hate to disappoint you, but uh, you're counting this chick a little too fast, Ken. If we're going to play guessing games, I can do some guessing, too. Like where this bankroll came from you're so proud of. You didn't get it singing hymns. You don't know where I got it. Well, maybe I know where to find out. So before you go running to Joey or Lassiter with any of your pipe dreams, just remember it's a two-way street, honey, and you could have an accident. Now, here's the roll back. Catch. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you Michael Waring? Mm-hmm. Also called the Falcon, but don't ask me why. And uh, you're Vicki Terrence, huh? Well, I heard you're a good detective, but that's kind of stretching it. Why? I've just been looking at a picture of you and O'Hara nightclubbing together. I didn't know we'd been published. Now, you don't read the police gazette. <laughs> Come in. Thanks. Well, now, why do you want a detective? Well, Mr. Waring... Oh, I... call me Mike. Hmm? And I'll call you Vicki. Unless O'Hara objects. Don't worry about Joey. He's a lion in the ring, but a lamb out of it. And with you as little Bo Peep, I can believe it. But back to business. Well, Mike, there's a there's a fellow I used to go with in Detroit, Ken Floyd. He he's come to New York and wants to make trouble between me and Joey. How? Well, he has some wacky yarn he's threatened to tell Joey. What yarn? Well, it hasn't anything to do with what I want you for. Vicky, I found out that when people who want to hire me start holding out on me. I'm not holding out. But I'm beginning to wonder if I didn't make a mistake coming here. So am I, Angel. Look, all I want is for you to check up on Ken. He's waving a bankroll, and I'd like to know where he got it. Why? Look, I'm offering you a job. Take it or leave it. Now, how do I know you're not planning to blackmail this Ken Floyd if I bring something hot in on it? Oh, brother, he's trying to blackmail me. How? What's he got on you? It's been nice knowing you, Mr. Waring. I think I go now. So long, Vicky. <laughs> You know, most people have to work if they want to eat. Maybe you're not hungry, huh? So long, Mike. Now, here we are. C, four, five, and six. Now, you going first, Mr. Lasseter. All right, Joey. And uh, now you, Vic. Oh, no, thanks, Joey. You're in better shape. You can take it. Huh? I mean, you and Mr. Lasseter may have some things you want to talk about. You sit next to him. Uh, okay. Good. That's a load off my ribs. Oh, well, Mr. Lasseter, going to be some good action there tonight. Yes, yeah, there's going to be some good boys in there. You know, I like this... Uh-uh. What's the matter? There's Whitcomb, and he sees me. Oh, yeah. He's coming over. Well, don't worry. He can't do anything. Hello, Whitcomb. Well, looks like a jolly little party. Hello, Lester. And Joey. Hello, Mr. Wickham. And this must be the little lady I've been hearing about. This is Vicky. Yes, yes, I know. Vicky Terrence. Oh, you read the papers, too. I didn't get it from the papers. They just say you've been out with her. But I happen to know why. And I happen to smell a rat. 
Or could it be a weasel? What's that, Vicky? I just mean somebody's trying to make trouble. Who? Why? Obviously, someone who'd rather have his dirty work done by somebody else. <laughs> you know, Whitcomb, I never thought of that angle. Yeah, I don't get it. What's, what's this all about? There's nothing mysterious about it, Joey. I just didn't have my eyes open. Somebody opened them for me. If I don't get an answer, I understand pretty quick. Somebody's going to close them for you. I see Miss Terrence has introduced you to Lassiter. Yeah? And told you he was a friend of the family or some such. All right, that's enough, Whitcomb. Wait a minute, Mr. Lassiter. I want to hear this. Go on, Whitcomb. Well, Joey, it's just that she and Lassiter happen to be more than friends. That's all. Huh? She's his girl, Joey. Don't you get it? Don't listen to him, Joey. Vicky. It's a lie, Joey. I've been wondering why you were so hard to talk to lately, Joey. Now I find out. Lassiter's girl leading you along so you'll sign with him. I don't believe it. She any... did ask you to sign with Lassiter, didn't she? Well... Didn't she? She said she thought it'd be a good idea. Yeah, good for her. That still don't prove All any... right, all right. You want proof. I'll get it. I didn't know she was Laster's girl, but there are people who do. Just promise me this, Joey, that you won't sign with Laster until you talk to them. I, I can't promise that. Why not? Because I already did sign with them today. Hello. Looking for me, Corbett? Oh, that you, Waring? Yeah, I'm looking for you. I'm sorry I can't make it tonight, Angel. I have to... You'll make it this afternoon. I want to talk to you. What about? What do you know about Vicky Terrence? Vicky? Oh, beautiful eyes, wonderful complexion, gorgeous figure. Look, the inventory I can take myself. What I want to know, what's with you and her? Nothing. I gave her the brush. Oh, a girl with a bill like hers? I don't believe it. Oh, it's her boyfriend's bill that stopped me. Now, look, I'm in her room. Oh, well, I... you better be careful, Corbett. That boyfriend I mentioned... I'll take care of the boyfriend. And what I started to say, I find your name in her address book. How come? Oh, come now, Corbett. If you're going to start investigating all the girls who have my name... I'm investigating this one. Now, what's with you and Vicky? Well, is she there? Yeah. Why not ask her? Well, that'll be a little tough, Mike, seeing as how somebody strangled her this morning. <laughs> Wearing. Oh, please, Corbett, I'm trying to eat. What, again? Every time I look into Ed's luncheonette, I find you. Somebody's got to support him. Look, I don't have all day to hang around here. Well, so long, then. Wearing. I've told you all I know, Corbett. You admit the girl wanted to hire you? Yes. To check on a Ken Floyd? Yes. Well, what'd you find out about it? I didn't. Look, I don't buy your dropping the case, Well, so... why not? Well, first, the girl's looks. Well, I told and you. And second, any time you turn down a chance to make a buck... <laughs> that I gotta see. All right, open your eyes. Look, are you gonna cooperate? I told you she named Ken Floyd. You can check on him. I will. And you can check on her boyfriend, O'Hara. Well, we're trying to find him. He's disappeared. Well, all the more reason to check. And you could check with the desk clerk at her apartment. Maybe he saw someone go up. Are you trying to tell me my business wearing? And it so happens the desk is closed from midnight to eight. And Doc says it's possible that she was killed before eight. Well, you've still got enough to keep you busy for a while. If you don't get anywhere, come on back and I'll be happy to take over the case for you. Well, I... For a fee, of course. So long, Corbett. Michael Waring? That's right. My name's Walter Whitcomb. I'd like to talk with you. Walter Whit... Oh, yeah. Joey O'Hara's manager. Ex-manager. That's what I wanted to see you about. May I come in? Yes, yeah, sure. Well, looks like destiny. What? That I should get involved with O'Hara. I don't understand. Well, you don't need to. What's the trouble? Al Lester wanted to get Joey away from me. He baited his hook with a beautiful girl. Oh, Vicky, Vicky. Yes, you've seen in the papers what happened to her. Uh-huh. But uh, what the papers don't know is that the girl was just being used by Lester. They also don't know that she was successful. What do you mean? Last night I learned that Joey signed with Lasseter. Oh. Well, that's bound to come out pretty soon. I know, and when it does, the police may think I killed the girl for revenge. Yeah, they might. So you want me to prove you didn't? Yeah. Well, just one thing first. What's that? What gave you the idea that Lassiter was behind Vicky's attentions to Joey? Why, well, it's obvious. Yeah, but was it until somebody tipped you off? Well, it was suggested mm -hmm. to... 
And would the somebody who suggested it be a fellow by the name of Ken Floyd? Wow. It was incredible. Oh, it's elementary, my dear Whitcomb. All done with mirrors. What do you know about Floyd? Not as much as I'd like to. I'll have to look him up after I get through with Lassiter. Oh, then you, uh, you are taking the case, Waring? Who am I to fly in the face of destiny? Yeah, Whitcomb, I'll take the case. <laughs> Minnie, you must think I'm absolutely crazy, Waring. Not absolutely, Lassiter. You come here and ask me a lot of questions, all of which are trying to prove that Joey O'Hara killed Vicky. I never said that, Lassiter. Well, your questions imply it. But Joey just signed up with me. If you think I'm going to sell my own fighter up the river, you got another thing coming. Now look, look, I'm just trying to find out a few things about O'Hara. You've got to admit things don't look good for him. Disappearing right after the murder? All right, he's not at his hotel. That doesn't say he disappeared. Well, what does it say? I don't know anything about him, and I've got nothing more to say. So, Waring, I know that you're a busy man. Yeah, he... sure, sure. Well, thanks for nothing, Lassiter. Uh... What was that? Something in the next room. Yeah, I must have come in the back way. Oh, uh, who's there? It's me, Mr. Lassiter. Bump into a chair. Oh, Joe. Say, what's the matter with you, boy? You look sick. I'm all right. Who's this? Mike Waring. Ah. Oh. Hello, Joey. Where you been? I don't know where I've been. You what? That's right, lass. I don't know. The Whitcomb told me about you and Vicky. I didn't know what to do. I went to a bar. Had a couple, three, four, I don't know. It's all I remember. I wasn't very smart, Joey. Yeah, yeah, I know, Mr. Lassiter. I'm not very smart. Just a slap-happy jerk. Letting you and a girl make a real schmo out of me. But you're not going to get away with it. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to... Who's he? I told you, Mike Waring. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, what's he want? I wanted to talk to you, Joey, and so does Sergeant Corbett. Why don't you come along with me? What do you want to talk about? Vicky. Oh, that little... I don't want to talk about her. You don't have to talk, Joey. Wait till I get your lawyer. Huh? Lawyer? What for? They want to pin the murder on you, don't you understand? What murder? Vicky's. Vicky's? Has Vicky been... Didn't you know? Who did it? Hey, hey, let go. Who did it? I don't know. I, uh, well, that's enough, Joey. Stop it. Stay out of this, Mr. Waring. I will when I get you out of it. Now let him go. All right. Now let him go. What's the difference? Vicky's dead, huh? Want to talk about it? Got nothing to say. I think you better go see Sergeant Corbett just the same. Police? Yeah. Why not? Joey, Joey, you don't understand. I'll say you did let it. Let him say I don't care. Vicky's dead, huh? I don't know. Did I love her? Did I hate her? Come on, mister. All right, Joey. I'm not, Joey, wait. I'll see you later, last. Well, at least don't say anything, Joey. Not until I get your lawyer. I'll get one down there right away. Ah, that crazy jerk. How were you? I put down that phone lesson. Huh? Who are you? Ken Floyd, friend of Vicky's. Joey left the back door open, so I come in. What do you want? Save you the cost of a phone call and lawyer fee. Put down the phone. All right, I got a call. I said put it down. Hey, hey. Oh, wait a minute. Be, be careful with that gun. All right, you be careful, too. Just do like I tell you. Yeah, I will. That's better. What do you want, Floyd? I told you to keep you from wasting your money. No use hiring a lawyer to protect somebody else's fighter, is there? I don't know what you mean. Joey signed with me. So you say, but you can't prove it without a contract. I got Lassiter. a contract. Yes, but it's not on record yet. All right, it will be. I don't think so. You and I are going down to your office. You're going to open up the safe. Wait a minute. Who are you working for? Whitcomb? <laughs> <laughs> I make it a point never to work for anybody except Ken Floyd. I figure your copies of the contract ought to be worth a nice piece of change to Whitcomb. So he can destroy him. Sign up Joey himself. That's well, all. maybe Whitcomb won't be interested. There's a murder rap hanging over Joey's head. Are you were ready to spend money on lawyers. I should think Whitcomb would be too. And on the contracts. Joey's worth the risk. I see. How much do you expect uh, Whitcomb to pay for the contract? Why, do you want to top it? I might. Good. Good. I don't care who I deal with as long as the price is right. But there's no use peddling contracts until I got them. So let's get moving, Lassiter. Now, back to the adventures of the Falcon. It's the day after Ken Floyd took over Joey O'Hara's contract at gunpoint. He's put it up for sale 
Weighed his offers, and now he's closing the deal with the highest bidder. 800, 850, 900, 950, 1,000. All right, Whitcomb, that makes it an even 10 grand. Well, Floyd, now the contracts. Yeah. Here you are, Whitcomb. Good. That's what last it gets to be in a cheapskate. Now, first to get rid of these. Oh, here, use my lighter. Thanks. Well, there they go, up in smoke. That's a beautiful sight. Mm, but you're going to burn the table. No, no, I'll throw them in the grate. <laughs> and now that I can do business with Joey again, I'd better see how things are getting along. Well, there's no use my hanging around. So long, Whitcomb. And goodbye, Floyd. Hello? Is that the Falcon? Yes, this is the Falcon speaking. Well, this is Walter Whitcomb. I understand you picked up Joey O'Hara. That's right. And do the police think he's guilty? They're not sure. Why? I find I made a mistake about him and Laster. I'm uh, in a position to deal with Joey after all, so naturally I'd like to see him cleared. Uh, according to the paper, he didn't tell the police anything damaging. He didn't tell them anything, period. So they were holding him until he felt in a more conversational mood. Uh, you say we're holding him. Does that mean he's been released? Not exactly. I'm afraid I have bad news for you, Whitcomb. What do you mean? Well, I just got word. Joey killed himself in his cell half an hour ago. Nine hundred, nine fifty, a thousand. Well, that does it, Lassiter, and even ten grand. All right, now let's have the contract, Floyd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The photostats, they prove Joey signed with you. Uh Uh-huh. And now... Just a second, Floyd. Mm-hmm. Oh, you again, Wary. Well, Lassiter, who's your friend? That's Ken Floyd. Oh, good. I've been wanting to meet him. You can ask me in. Looks like you're asking yourself that. What'd you come here for, Wary? Well, you were trying to protect Joey before because you figured to cash in on him. But now that he can't be of any more use to well, what you... What do you mean, can't be of any more use to me? Now that he's dead. What? Yes, didn't you know? He killed himself. Floyd, did you know about this? Oh, Lassiter, so help What's me. Floyd got to do with it? Nothing wearing. I... I'll settle with you later, Floyd. Now, maybe I will, too. But first, Lassiter, can you tell me anything about Joey you didn't tell me before? Wait a minute. How do I know this isn't a bluff about him being dead? Turn on the radio. You'll hear it on the news. Well, all right, Waring. So it's on the level. But what do you expect me to tell you about Joey? Anything that might tie him to the murder. Well, doesn't a suicide do it? Not entirely. And I've got a client to clear it. Well, I know Joey threatened Vicky, but that doesn't say he killed her. How do you know he threatened her? Well, she called me about four in the morning, said he was banging on the door to her bedroom trying to get in. I had to go over and drag him away. Maybe he went back, but I don't know how you're going to prove it. Maybe we won't have to. There's a good chance... Hey, that... wait a minute. Well, where's Floyd? Huh? Well, looks like he slipped out the back way while we were talking. Yeah, we've got to get him. He's got ten grand of mine. We'll get him. But first, we're going to headquarters. Why? To give Corbett our proof. But I told you I don't have proof. That Joey killed Vicky? I know that. But we have proof that you did. Huh? Yeah, sure, Lassiter. You killed Vicky. So let's go tell Corbett about it, hmm? Waring, there's just one thing I want to know. Why Lassiter killed Vicky? Well, I'll tell you, Corbett. He was using Vicky to work on Joey for him, but he found out that she was taking your work too seriously. She really fell for Joey, and Lassiter killed her in a jealous rage. No, that's not what I wanted to ask. Oh, you wonder how I knew that Lassiter was the murderer? Well, he said Vicky phoned him from her room at four in the morning, but the desk in her apartment house is closed from midnight to eight, and calls have to go through the desk, so she couldn't have phoned at four. Yeah, but th- that's still not... Oh, so right. I knew Lassiter was lying. He was trying to throw suspicion on Joey and at the same time explained what he was doing at Vicky's in case anyone saw him going there that night. All right, all right, Waring. But now will you just answer one thing? Oh, sure, Corbett. You told me you turned down the case and still I find you involved with Joey, Lassiter, Whitcomb, and Floyd. Go ahead, explain that. Well, it's really very simple, Corbett. There's only one trouble. Yeah, what's that? You wouldn't believe me. So good night, Corbett. (laughs) 